a happy hip sleep in. And so start by lying down. Okay. And relax, bent knee. All we're going to do here is lie down and we're going to rotate. Okay. So you want to gently switch your stomach contraction on as you rotate. Okay. You want to have a really long spine to make sure that you're protecting yourself, but also to make sure you get the mobility. Okay. From here, hands come out. Try to keep your shoulders on the floor. Move to one side. And then rolling from the other side. So we're softening the hips and all of the knots. Trying to get our pelvis a little bit liberated from being stuck. So this is a softening exercise to get ready for the next exercise. So from here, you're going to rotate to the side. This hip leg comes forward, okay? You can perhaps flex or point, and then you're going to move the other leg back and you're going to feel a stretch here in the leg, okay? You want to have the foot on the back knife edge of the floor, okay? And then you rotate over and you do the same thing on the other side, okay? So you've got a nice stretch here, okay? So what you're doing here is actually wringing the pelvis. So if you've got really locked up hips in the pelvis, this is going to be brilliant for you. However, don't go too wide, okay? This could end up being not beneficial. So make sure you start gently. There's no need to go to extremes. So this will also rotate your pelvis in the fascia and connective tissue. This is like brushing your teeth and what you would want to do daily. So you, you would do around 20 repetitions. And as you get more flexible, you can increase the distance here. As you can see, I've opened wider. And rotate further. And then bring your pelvis back and breathe a little bit. So these exercises here I would do daily and the next exercises I'm going to show you after two weeks of doing these exercises you can start to incorporate. First level we did just the rotational movements and then we did the larger movements here okay so now we're going to actually add a little bit where our arms are getting into action. So from here, we're gonna bring our arms up overhead and rotate. So it's really important to try and get this hip at the top past vertical, okay? It's really great for the piriformis and glute medius. So take your time with this. So you really want to feel this stretch from your lats down your side. So we're trying to find the now sequence to be more about harmony in the body and making all the components work together. So you're 
pointing down with your foot, pointing down with your knee here. I would look at 15 to 20 repetitions. So again, here, rotating around all the way to the side. So once you've done around 20 repetitions, you want to lengthen out so this leg comes forward, but the foot is relaxed here. Okay. And you're going to swap over your legs. So from here, you're going to bring this knee forward. Your arm is up. And you're going to drop down here and rotate up. Okay. You can have your hand here. And you should be able to open up here into the hip mobility. Okay. Once you get into this movement here, you can keep this back leg down and just rotate through the hip joint, getting the knee down. So, the ability to get the rotation is a full body movement that takes a lot of time, okay? And from behind, you're trying to get your belt buckle into the ground. So I said this leg can lift up. Here, rotation, but at first, you might be more like this rotation. Okay? The more you open your leg, the more the rotation you will be felt. And at first, you may have this movement and then ability eventually to rotate around without. This is very good for circulation problems, pelvic floor problems, for impingements into the body of the hip. So what happens is once you do the first line, then you do the second movements, it'll grow really quickly. I hope you enjoy. Namaste.